Well, all right, so what's going on, hashtag Burritos Nation? Rainbow Warrior here again with another episode of that wonderful game of WWE Supercar. This is number 81, and happy Thanksgiving, you guys, if you guys are celebrating it. If you're not, well, happy, happy Thursday. But yeah, happy Thanksgiving, you guys. You guys didn't have some nice turkey tonight? You guys celebrating with your families? What are you guys thankful for? You know, what's one thing I'm thankful for is... I am thankful for all 179 subscribers of the hashtag Burritos Nation, baby. So that's awesome, like a possum right there, you guys. You guys are so, so cool. We're going to go ahead and uh, go to our King of the Ring. It is finished for us. Not, it's not all the way finished, but I actually go to the Contenders Racket here and shout out everyone here. We got Rainbow Warrior 17. We got my favorite bot obesity tier, <laughs> and we beat him. We got RJ Hooft, Viper, Nick... 199717 Quirty Oluyai Oluyai. Sorry if I don't pronounce that right, buddy. But and then we got Hell's Gate. And of course, I and I got to the second round against Viper. He swept me, and it's ending up Viper's up by one right now. And I believe he is going to win this because he has all the event pros except for Cryback, I believe. Cryback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means, of course, we are going to get. A, oh, well, waiting on the network card. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, so we're gonna get a legendary card. So it's cool, 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 awesome. I like a possum. Thanks, Diving Style. I hope that it's gonna excite me as much as eating turkey tonight. I hope I get a pro from, from it. But anyways, guys, first we're gonna go ahead and give you an update on our road to glory. I immediately used the 600 credits that Cat Daddy gave us and put it towards 75 title matches. And right now we are 95 out of 165 on Kane. This is, and since I don't have work this week, I've gone, I was able to play a lot today already. So that's pretty cool right there. So hopefully I'm, I'm planning on only spending maybe like 1200 credits. Hopefully I can, maybe I'll be able to get, uh, Seamus. I really just want to get Seamus. I'm not going for, um, Reigns. But yeah, actually I have not lost yet. Watch, I'm probably going to lose in this video. So I said that I'll probably jinx myself. But I have not lost one match, like, I've, I've swept the whole entire thing, got perfect games the whole way. This is the first time so far, if I'm able to do this, that uh, I would be able to get through Epic without losing anything, which is really incredible. But anyways, that's so we got Triple H here with the, our first loyalty fusion right there, the rare one right there. I guess it was legendary, I think, probably from Season 1. So that's a legendary on a legendary. All right, so we got Nikki Bella, we got Paige. By the way, guys, I finished up proing my legendary pro... Uh, Brock Lesnar and my Survivor Pro, first ever Survivor Pro, Alicia Fox, Foxy, good old Foxy. Pro Foxy is my best card. <laughs> Who would have thought I would be able to say that? Let's see if she'll come up here. I don't think I've used her yet. I haven't been paying attention. Let's see. Is there Foxy? There's Foxy. Okay, so we're going to go and use one of the Sheamus twins. Fella! And we got Brock Lesnar, the beast incarnate, baby. All right, so we're going to get an easy win right there. So we're going to probably sweep this again. Oh, look at it. You guys get to see the Tilt-A-World Backbreaker right here on page. Here we go. Here we go. And, and I promise she doesn't say anything. The Tilt-A-World Backbreaker. There we go. So we got Shawn Michaels here. Going to go up against a nice little Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Now we got Cesaro. And since, since we're going up against easier cards, I've finally gotten to see him do the Neutralizer. And I don't believe he said it says anything. I haven't, I don't think I've, I think I might have listened to the sound. I don't think he says anything. But yeah. All right, so we're going to go with nice old Naomi, who's my homie, of course. Naomi's my homie with the little cartwheels right there. We got another perfect game for Rainbow Warrior and the hashtag Burritos Nation. You guys, my lucky charms, still haven't lost. We're going to go and play a couple more matches here. Let's still, hopefully we don't get a legendary here. We don't want that to happen because then that would be our reset. Which I really hate that. In uh, my NBA 2K15, they had a glitch where, where you would still be pulling from your exhibition tier. So that was a lot cooler than this. I really don't want to mess with my reset. But yeah, I'm taking the risk here. Because I want to pull title matches. If I save the picks for exhibition, I can't get any more title matches. But yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to play two more. And then we'll claim our legendary King of the Ring awards. As we're going against Razor Fade with, with Kofi Kingston. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use Alberto Del Rio. And that's actually a card that can beat some of our cards right there. Good thing we put Alberto. We're going to try to see if we can get through all of Epic 
uh, Kane without losing, which looks like it's going to be a good chance. Ooh, it looks like that person could have a chance to get a pro. Maybe not since they're an epic, but I don't know. Yeah, they could still do it with some credits, probably. But yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be sick if we pulled a legendary uh, gold dust, actually, guys. I mean, he's not the best tar, but still, that'd be a pro right there. Who I really, really want to get, of course, is maybe... The two cards I really want the most are Nikki Bella and The Rock. Those are the two cards I really want the most. If I get a pro Nikki, that's just to be an awesome to have another legendary pro. And she'll be compatible with Naomi, my homie. <laughs> and, oh, if I get a Bailey, I would love to get a Bailey. Because then that's going to be compatible with Alicia. So to have a legendary pro and a survivor pro compatible, that could be really dominant in a tag team. It's going to be really hard to beat, of course, unless they have... The same thing as me, a Survivor Pro and a Legendary Pro compatible, or two, two Survivor Pros. That's the only thing that's going to beat him. Actually, guys, since I've had um, Alicia as a pro, I've only lost once with her, and it was in a tag team with Naomi. And I've played probably around like 350 to 400 games since having her as a pro. And she's only lost once, and it's with a tag team. She has not lost as a single yet, which is really awesome. I don't know how many people are without buying a pack. And I'm not even sure if you can get a, um, a Survivor Diva through a pack. I'm not sure, but but I don't know how many people without a pack uh, opening have gotten have a Survivor Diva, a pro, Survivor Diva Pro. Like, that's got to be really, really rare. So I'm really lucky to already have that, considering I've only been Survivor tier for, what, a week or something like that? But yeah, so, so I'm really lucky that my first Survivor Pro is a D.Va. Alicia is not the best D.Va, but I will definitely take that. I mean, I am leaps and bounds ahead of a lot of people and D.Vas right now because of that. I mean, a Legendary Pro, D.Va Naomi, and a Survivor D.Va, Alicia Fox. All right, so we're going to go pick our seven cards here. Got uno, dos, one more, and Adam Rose. That's two, I guess. All right, so we're going to play one more. We'll play one more for you guys. Let's go against Savas. Uh-oh. That guy has a survivor reigns. Uh-oh, that might have been a bad decision right there. We might get our first get a loss right here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, hashtag Brewers Nation. Let's see if we can still stay undefeated here. Going to go with Brock Lesnar right there. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so we're going to beat Kane right there. All right, now we got Jack Swagger with a little swagger bomb action. Here we go. And when you have the volume up, we the people, he says. <laughs> All right, so man, it's Prokalaka everywhere, or what? All right, the RKO out of nowhere. RKO out of nowhere by Orton. Now, come on, pedigree. Oh my gosh, it's Prokalaka everywhere, guys. All right, so we got the pedigree from Seth Rollins. Can we keep, on the, can we keep the procs going? All right, so who are we going next with? We got to go with, let's see, let's do with Brock. Oh, well, there's a Prokalaka from the other side. It looks like every single match is a proc. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go with these two. They're compatible. That's an easy, easy win for us if they just have an epic single and a super rare single right there. It's very easy with two epic pros that are compatible. Now we're going to go with Naomi, my homie. Naomi, my cartwheel and homie. But of course, she does a splash right there instead of the cartwheel in the real rear view. She hit it when she hits him with the buttocks. All right, so we're going to go ahead with Alicia Fox, our best tar, going to beat up on armpit Naomi. She's not my homie because she, she has the armpit picture. Here we go. Oh, no. No, are we going to lose? No. Yeah, okay, good job, Triple H. Whew, whew, that stared me right there, you guys. I thought, I thought we were actually going to lose. Ooh, look at Epic Bailey. That's cool. Of course, we have old, we have Ultra Rare Bailey and Legendary Bailey. All right, so nice proc lock from her. And we're going to end with the proc lock with Sheamus. Here we go. Bro kick, the new World Heavyweight Champion, Sheamus. Fella. Oh, I thought that was the last round. Apparently not. All right, so this is going to be the last round. Then we will get our Legendary King of the Ring Awards, we'll get that legendary. Hopefully it'll be a pro. If it's not, hopefully it's a cool card at least. I would love to get a Dolph Ziggler card, even though that's not necessarily the card I want the most. I'll still freak out about it though, because I really want a Dolph Ziggler pro at some point. That'd be really cool if I got a Survivor Dolph Ziggler pro. But of course, I would have to get two of him to get that. I don't even have one of them yet. So that is... Uh, that's a lot of progress to be made. Oh, and we lose. Oh my gosh, you guys get to witness on camera the first time we lose, and it's the last match. Oh my gosh, we lose. We won 15 to 1. Oh my gosh, that's garbage. Or 13, whatever it was. But still, we lost our first one, so we only get six picks now. Darn it, Rainbow Warrior. Of course, you gotta do that on camera. All right, so we're gonna get six picks here. Maybe we'll get a nice little pool and a rare Jimmy Uso. So, coo, 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 coo. That is awesome. Like a 
Possum, baby. All right. So now what do we got to do? We got to go ahead and claim that reward. What are we going to get, guys? Do them right in the comments below if you want. What do you think I'll get? Will it be a diva? Will it be a superstar? Will it be a pro? Ooh, baby, here we go. Hey, that rhymes. I make a rhyme anytime, and I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. Of course, I already told you guys that before. That, that silly little thing. Anyways, guys, get to it. Quit stalling, Rainbow Warrior. Press. I don't know. Should I do it? Should I do it? <sighs> and please, don't be another thing where it's like Shawn Michaels or Cena, where I already have a pro of that. Of course, I'll be cool with another Shawn Michaels and another Cena. But yeah. All right, come on. Give me Nikki or The Rock. I would love The Rock. Give me Nikki or The Rock or Paige or Bailey or whatever, man. Come on, give me a pro. Come on, claim rewards, and we get... Ah, we don't have Edge, no. At least that's another chance that a left arrow pro, though. Uh, well, that's a little disappointing, guys. We still left arrow. We need another left arrow. So, so now the Rock's not our only chance at a left arrow pro. We really need someone to be compatible with Del Rio. That'd be really cool. And with all our other right arrow pros. But anyways, guys, so there we go right there. We get a legendary Edge. Still a pretty cool card. We'll go ahead and train him up some. Anyways, guys, it's been Rainbow Warrior here with another episode of WWE Supercard number 81. Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving, and I'll see y'all hashtag Burritos Nation tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye-bye.